Welcome back guys up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and we're going for a ride in a 1964 uh, Chevy Corvette. This one is, I believe, to be 350 up under the hood. And what I like to do is take them down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. Look at the detailed pictures. I got undercarriage shots, uh, interior shots, and all the chip scratches and flaws on the car at maplemotors.com. Also have financing and shipping available for you. And if you hit subscribe and hit like and share, I'll keep these videos coming your way. It helps me out a lot. I appreciate that in advance. All right. So we're getting ready to take off here. Uh, like I said, picking out the flaws. So buckle up. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, let's look around the interior. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a game I like to play on the channel. Just testing all the electronics out in the cars. Coming across the dash. Pretty good shape. I know it looks kind of bubbly. I got you on widescreen, but it shows more of the car. And this being a two-seater, it helps out catching all the aspects of the car here. Definitely going to take the top down. We're going to be doing that. We're going to go ahead and get her started up here. She starts up pretty easy. Looks like the original clock, when you mess with it, starts working. I don't know how long it's going to stay going. It may stay going the whole time. Looks like the RPM is coming up on the dash, and it's showing 90,000 miles. Hard to stand behind that in the 1964 model. Oil pressure's up. Engine temperature's on the way. Looks like our gas gauge is working, too, at three quarters of a tank. Radio. Radio's working. Fan. Fan's working. Um pretty clean up in here too so what about that horn y'all ready to try it out we'll try it right after the wipers <laughs> wipers work and horn horn works good what about that let's hop on out of here and go ahead and try to get the top down so on this car you'll look up under here you got this handle here that pops it up You've also got the two clips on each side. A little bit different than a newer model. There we go. You push them. And it releases the top there. Coming up with it. Oh, we've got to release the other one again. I didn't push it real good. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're back out. Look, coming up for us. Good deal. I gotta use my shoulder. Not too bad for one end. This side here is not exactly locking the way it should. Let's try to reshut it just to make sure. I wanna look down in here. Look at our hinge. Look at our latch. This side here is not locking exactly the way it should. Go ahead and roll down the passenger window. I smell fuel additive on this one. It smells like grapes out here. There she is. Okay, so now we're going to hit the road and see how she runs and drives. Okay, so before we take off, I had to roll down here to Brian's Motorsports. You want to check them out for sure. It's uh, right down the road from the lot, a full customization shop. Check them out, brianzmotorsports.com on Facebook, Instagram, or actually they got a YouTube channel. So go over there and look at some of the projects that they do. They do a lot of the SEMA show stuff. Um, on top of a lot of football players, they're always busy down here making custom cars. All right, let's get back to getting out of this parking lot and finishing this test drive here. Okay, get ready to take off here. Got my seatbelt on. Anything I see, I will let you know. We got to take a little bit of a longer test drive. So, that's all right with me. Perfect day to be in a drop-top Corvette. 
straight as an arrow as soon as I pull out of the lot. Steering's nice and tight. Kick down is hooked up on that one and brakes. Pull a little bit to the left. They did initially. They may uh, warm up and quit doing that though. Turn signals popping up on the dash on both sides. temperature is working it's right there at 175 clock has not stopped ticking that's pretty cool nice clean glove box shuts easy it right, looks like it had a fresh oil change So far, so good on this one. A little bit to go here. I gotta go all the way up the other side of town running some errands today. I'll probably pick some new locations to do my outside shots. So about uh, halfway through this video, I'll be getting an undercarriage shot where I light up the undercarriage. Need to show you some stuff on the frame on this one that we found, that you have to know about. As far as I can tell, it's going straight down the road. Feels nice and tight. Everything's working. Speedometer's pretty accurate, too. We're running 40 right now. It's dead on it. pulling to the left all together though. Let's try our bed window. Nice and smooth. It smells like great. Somebody's put the fuel additive in the car and uh, then it smells good. gear in her too she's pulling hard that kills it on the top end though you're probably only going to want to run 70 max in this one as i was backing up my father told me that the uh, reverse lights were working on this one as well once i do the undercarriage shot as i pull up i'll try the headlights the turn signals and uh when i pass over the camera, I'll try, you know, the brake lights and the turn signals in the rear. That way you know if they work. So I'm getting pretty close to where I need to be. We'll go ahead and cut it short here and uh, we're gonna skip over to where I do the undercarriage shots, the overhead stuff, driving by the camera. That way you can get a good listen to see what it sounds like from the outside perspective. 
be sure to check out our gear we've got shirts let's go for a ride i've also got a few other things that we've put out and i'm still waiting on the horn shirt i'm gonna put it out probably around christmas so check it out get some merch i'll see you in a minute Okay, so far so good. I do not believe the gas gauge works. Uh, I thought I did it first, but now I don't trust it. So I'd say that is not working. I'd go ahead and cancel that out. All right, got her in gear. We're gonna head on back to the lot now. I went ahead and did the uh, walk around on the car up here in the parking lot. So I'll put that at the end of the video to make it more smooth. Here we go. Tell you what though, running and driving wise, this thing feels great when you're hitting the brakes. Still has a little bit of a pet left pull. It went away for a minute and it came back. I'm wondering if it just goes away once they heat up.
suspension on this one's nice and smooth as well let's see what we're gonna do here i think my best bet is to cut through the gas station i'm not sure what they're doing but yeah my best bets go this way <laughs> Good deal. Getting ready to pull into the lot. Next up is the walk around picking out the flaws segment of the video. And guys, it does help me out when you hit like, subscribe, and share this video. So please do so. And I thank you in advance. I got some shirts and stuff on the merchandise store I want you to check out. And I might be coming up with some kind of giveaway here in the next couple weeks. I'll let you know. I'll keep you informed. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. All right, we're going to walk around this ride looking for chip scratches and flaws. Anything I find, I will let you know. That's why I make these videos. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Also have shipping and financing available for you to check out. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to go around the lower portions first and continue upward. Coming up on this car here. Run the front bumper. It's in decent shape, but it does have a few little nicks and scratches. You got some chips in the front here. A crack there. Chip right here. A couple chips around the nose. So chip there. Some imperfections in the paint. This is an older paint job. <clears throat> you see on the top here on the hood or the top of the fenders. It's chip there. Nice little gash there with some paint missing. Little spot there. Here as well. Chip here. Old bumper in the back's a little bit pitted. Not bad though, it still looks good. Tail lights, decent shape. A little water in the reverse light there. Coming around the mid section here, lots of chips and scratches. Spot here. Chrome looks good on the door handle. Middle of the door has got a lot of little chips. Spot here as well. See all these chips around the front end. There's a lot of them on this car. See, I'm zooming in on all of them. Trim looks good around the windows. The window's in good shape. Mirror looks good. You got a line from the top where it was rubbing, where it's sitting there. Light crack there, a line here. Chip here. Coming 
around the side here. You got some light scratches and some pitting on the rear bumper. You got some chips right here. Also on this side. See the paint's got some cracking in it from where it's older. Spots there. Lots of chips. Some right there as well. On top here. Of course, I'm going to keep my shadow behind me, so we're going to keep working backwards from this angle. Little spot there. Nice chrome handle. Chips right here. Chip there as well. Up on top. So got a little bit of cracking in the paint. It's real light. It may not be popping up on camera, but it's just older paint. So chrome looks good around the windows. Got a little bit of rubbish showing up here. A little spot on top of the fender. Of course, we've already been around the front end here. All right, made it around the car. Let's look at the interior, get her started, and uh, listen to the motor. Looking down in the interior, it's in great shape. You can tell they've redone the carpet, and the seats have been recovered. A little wear there. Across the dash is nice and clean. Of course, back in here, I picked up some leaves from being around these trees. The doors are solid. There won't be any rust because it's fiberglass. We'll look under them anyways. Your jams look good. Pop on in here and start her up. Get a little gas. Oh, the clock quit ticking on us. We can just snap that and it'll go back, back into it though. Trim on the inside looks fairly new, honestly. That's nice and clean. Crates back here. Go ahead and shut down the hood here. Got some old cracking in the paint down in the corners here. Up on the nose. A crack there.
Hey, and I want you to look at the detailed pictures. On this car here, uh, you gotta look at the undercarriage too. It looked like there was a dent in the frame. Right here. Let me bend the camera. Show you. you can see it right here. It could have been hit at some point. I'd say that's what happened. Dented from here to about here. And of course, as you can tell, it's not affecting the drive terrain. You can see it's got some surface rust and stuff on it, uh, but it hasn't been undercoated. You can get a professional to spray the underneath of the car for, I don't know, a few hundred bucks, something like that. We just don't get into it here. We'd rather show you the bare metal and have a little surface rust on it. But I did know that that was on the frame there, so you need to know about that. It's supposed to look like this on this side. Where it's nice and flat and smooth, and it doesn't. But we did find that. And I have detailed pictures of it as well. We try to give you an honest upfront statement of every car on the lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like, share, subscribe, and I'll keep them coming your way. Do have financing, I have shipping at maplemotors.com. And I'll have some more videos to put out today. I thank you for watching. See you later.